Hey everyone, this is Pops Reviews, and I'm back again with another video, and I thought I would do just a, a quick little uh, overview of the uh, Marvel United Fantastic Four set. I actually painted this set up, so I thought I would uh, just kind of show it off and um, let you guys see what it looks like if you uh, are to paint up these guys. So, um, I just let you know I did the uh, Marvel... Uh, United X-Men Kickstarter so I had got uh, pretty much all the the boxes uh, all the the sets for Marvel United um, I, I don't think there was really I didn't I didn't the only thing I didn't get with the uh, sets were the plastic tokens but I got uh, everything else but um, there is a lot of coverage on Marvel United so I didn't uh, really do a, an unboxing and that type of thing because I just thought uh, it's kind of oversaturated with a lot of uh, videos out there, but I thought I'd at least show uh, what maybe when I finish paint up the sets, uh, what they look like when they're painted, or at least when I paint them. So uh, here we have the uh, Fantastic Four. So as you can see, they have, sorry for the glare from the box, but um, you'll see on the cover you have at least uh, Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, the Thing, and of course at the very top here Dr. Doom so let's open it up here and see what we got so you'll get a little uh, leaflet here that uh, shows you everything that you're getting in the game here so that's pretty cool and then you see what the minis uh, you see what they look like when they're unpainted so there's that and then he comes with uh, special specific tokens for Doctor Doom when you play against him as a, as a villain. So it comes with that. And then it comes with uh, these uh, places here to use. So I uh, laminated these cards. I didn't um, actually buy... You could have bought uh, these in a thicker cardstock and... I didn't pay for the thicker cardstock. I just thought um, the cards that they have here were good enough. Um, they are uh, they are kind of flimsy, so it's for me it was better just to laminate them. And I was happy, you know, just laminating them and not needing to necessarily purchase a thicker cardstock for them. But um, yeah, so they don't come laminated, but it probably is a good thing to laminate them if you uh, uh, want to protect your game probably and have it last longer. So, uh, so here you can see here's the different cards you have. So you have Latveria, you have the uh, Baxter Building, and you have uh, Mount Wondergore, and you have four Yancey Street. And then you could add, so usually you have uh, six different locations when you play the game, so you know you have you have these four that are thematic to the fantastic four set and then you could add whatever two other locations um from the core box because you'll need the core box of either uh the original marvel united or the x-men uh marvel united that have the other locations and other uh, tokens and whatnot to use to play the game so you could add one or you know add another two locations and then you have you know your six locations here so but these it comes with the four locations and then here is an example here is the uh villain cards uh the villain um uh, what do they call it dashboards <coughs> excuse me so you have the two villain dashboards that come in the game here so you have a uh, doctor doom and you can see it's kind of a flimsier um a flimsier kind of a card and you have Super Scroll. So these are the two uh, villain dash dashboards that come with it, and the two villains that uh, come in uh, the game. Doctor Doom, however, is um, playable as a hero as well. Uh, so you'll see his cards in a sec. So you can play him as hero and, and uh, villain. And another card I just put in here because I thought he was thematic um, to the set is uh, Namor. So actually, Namor doesn't come with it. Um, he is a stretch goal from the X-Men Kickstarter box, but I just put his card in here because I thought uh, he's pretty thematic to the Fantastic Four as well. 
So here's uh, Namor's card. Now, th that, that's the cardstock that comes with this box. And then I did purchase the thicker cardstock for the villain dashboards. So this is an example of what they look like here. So as you can see, it's a thicker cardboard, um, very uh, a heavier cardboard to these here. These are like really flimsy. And then you have this is a thicker card. So I, I was totally for going for these because at least they have the um, the art of the characters and uh, and then this this of course it is a thicker uh, cardstock and it is double sided um, as well as the uh, these are also double sided as well. But this gives you the extra instructions if you want to play um, if someone wants to play as a villain then it tells you. Um, what they what you use well, first you have your special setup for this particular villain and then they'll tell you what the uh, heroes start with if you're playing as the super villain if someone is playing as the villain so there's the rules for that i'm not going to get too deep into that um uh but it is you know possible to play uh you know up to five players this game or even more if you have uh, a couple of the other special x-men expansion boxes the blue and gold so has the Super Scroll and Doctor Doom cards, um, but those don't. These don't come with it. These are separate. Buy again. They come with this uh, card. This card stock here. This flimsier card stock. Just to make that clear. Okay, and as you can see, uh, you can already see that I have the minis printed. So come with that special plastic tray over the top. Now I have um, sleeved cards again. Uh, this does not come with sleeved cards. It comes with these cards, but they're not sleeved. So here yeah, you see there's a special takeover challenge. Um, and it comes with the brutal takeover. So these are special cards in the game. And you have your Fantastic Four special card. So this is, I believe, um, the Fantastic Four have a special card that they're could use teamwork and then they put tokens on this card and then anybody is able to use the tokens that are on this card i think that's how that works um haven't really played with them just yet and then you see you have uh, the cards for each person here so we have uh reed's cards now he has a starting hand card which is uh plasticity so this is like his special card um so you can see here he has Super Genius, Teamwork, Teamwork, and then, you know, he has his other cards. Um, I'm not going to go into the rules and, you know, what each symbol does. That's, you know, another video, or there's other vid uh, videos out there that show you how to play. I've done a, a playthrough as well of these, uh, of Marvel United, so you can look at that to find out what the symbols mean, if you're not familiar. But, um... Each character, uh, you know, each character, as much as, uh, you know, each character has symbols at the bottom of their cards, some have a certain amount of symbols, some have different powers, some, you know, each each uh, character has their own unique uh, flair to the game, even though it seems like it's all the same. It really isn't, actually, when, you, when you're playing. Um, you know, say, for instance, you know, Sue Storm here has a couple of what's called heroic tokens, <laughs> And then say like the Hulk maybe uh, doesn't have as many heroic tokens because he's more of a fighter. So you you know you see what I mean? Like you get the certain characters have um, more or less you know of the symbols. So there's the Invisible Woman. Next we have the Human Torch. So the Fantastic Four they all have a starting hand card. And you'll see that at the bottom of the corner here, it's starting hand. So you'll start with that when you're playing with uh, these characters here. And of course, the uh, cards and the art are really, really nice. Um, I like to sleeve my cards just to have them nice and protected. So that is how I roll with my cards for any card games I have. Um, here's the thing. So again, he has a starting hand card, and then the rest of his cards here. So, 
So you have the thing, and then I I also put uh, Namor's Namor uh, the Submariner's cards in here. So you can have a look at his cards again. He comes in the um, the stretch goals box, so he is not a part of this box here. But um, I did paint him up, and I thought he's kind of thematic to the box. I kind of put his cards in here for now until I find a solution of uh, where to store these cards. I'll probably have to get a bigger box of some sort. So then you have... Uh, the next set of cards here, just give me a sec. We have uh, Silver Surfer. So he has a starting hand card too as well. So pretty good art and I can't wait to actually, I haven't, I haven't played with any of these guys. So I, I'm, I'm anxious to see uh, how they play out uh, compared to some of the original sets in that I, that I've played already. So Silver Surfer, and then if you want to play as Doctor Doom as a hero, because there's times that he's joined the hero forces, you could play as Doctor Doom, and he does have a starting hand card as well. So pretty cool that you could have him uh, be one of the heroes if you want, and fight whoever, have him fight Super Scroll or whoever the bad guys are. Oh, pretty cool. Looks like he's pretty decently powerful. Helpful to his teammates. So that's the player cards. And then you have uh, some of the threat cards. Um, again, I uh, the cards do not come sleeved. So just, just so you know. So here's, uh, I, again, I put Namor... Uh, Prince Namor's cards in here. I guess you'd call him King Namor. So here's like his threat cards. Now these don't come again with the set. He is separate. I just stored him in here for thematic sake. So here's his, but here are his cards. So, you know, you have the six threat cards and you have his cards that you draw. So that's, and then the art for him. But he is not a part of this set, so I'm just, that's just, this is just extra I'm showing you here. These cards, though, part of the set here. So you have the Super Scroll. You have his threats cards that he puts down. And then you have the cards that he picks out when he's moving around on the board. And laying down civilians and thugs. So you have the Super Scroll, and then Doctor Doom. So here, here are his threat cards, and then his, his cards that he plays. And again, on the backs, of course. Um, well, these ones they'll have they'll have their art on the back, but I use a solid uh, um, purple card sleeve for the super score i thought that's kind of thematic to him but on the back you'll see they have you know the art the art for the character so you know who it is so that is the cards uh for the set and um and now i'll show you the painted minis here so first off um i'll show you namor just because again he's not part of the set but um Again, I, I, he's thematic to the Fantastic Four, I think. So this is my painted version of Namor. So he actually, um, he had this nice clear blue base. And I, um, I didn't really want to ruin the base. So what I did was I did, uh, I just put some tissue around the base as much as I could to protect um protected from not being uh, primed by, by my spray primer spray and then um, I did get some on the, the the bottom part so then I just decided to paint it like a kind of aqua blue and he's someone uh, again he's uh, you're able to play him as a hero or as a villain so um, yeah so this is this is the paint job I gave for him I think it looks pretty much like him
So I'll just put him aside. So again, not part of the this set, but again, thematic. I just want to make sure that is clear. So we'll start with the uh, villains of this set here. So let's start with Super Scroll. And you can see Super Scroll. And he has like a, he had this clearer plastic that I wanted to keep. Um, so I tape, I uh, put some tissue around his arm and his, his, uh, his legs. And uh, so I could prime it and um, keep the effects of the plastic that I, I, I did like the plastic. I did like the effects of the plastic. So I, I did want to keep that. So. And then, of course, he has, uh, you know, I guess all four of the Fantastic Force powers kind of thing. So that's Super Scroll. And then next we have one of the greatest mastermind villains of all time, Doctor Doom. So most villains, uh, you know, I they have they come in red. Um, the ones that have, like, say, like, Super Scroll here, he was actually a red plastic because he's a, a villain. Uh, Doctor Doom, his original plastic is um, purple. So um, the purple guys you could play as hero and villains. So this is him. So I kind of, I kind of kept it thematic and painted the base around purple just so you could tell if, you know, that you could play him as a hero or villain. So I kind of kept... The purple here just as a, a reminder of that of sorts i guess so that's dr doom um the silver surfer uh i really liked i really liked what they did um i really liked that he looked how he did like i didn't want to paint him over this is how he came the only thing i painted on him uh was his base here so I made sure to cover him up. I didn't want to uh, spray him at all. The only thing I did to him was just add the eyes on him. Otherwise, he's just uh, he was just like the silver um, plastic or whatever. So I added the eyes on him. I painted his eyes like a black inside his eyes, and then just a couple white dots. And um, yeah, and then just painted his base, and that's. I think he came out pretty good. So that's Silver Surfer. Not much I had to really do with him. Okay, let's go to the big man, the thing. Old blue eyes. So looking pretty strong. Nice chunky model figure. It's clobbering time. He's getting ready to clobber. So a pretty cool model. And I kind of I gave him the classic orange paint job and not that kind of yellowy looking thing more of the classic orange and i think he looks great like that okay and the next here is the human torch so again um he came in this red uh plastic that i i did like i liked the effects of it some people you know um if you're a painter some people have painted over primed it and painted over it but i did like the plastic um I thought it looked pretty cool, the transparency kind of thing. Um, so the only thing I painted on him were his eyes, his teeth, and then try to make the Fantastic Four sign a little more pronounced on his chest. And of course, just painted his base here. Um, yeah, so that is the Human Torch. I think he looks great as well. And next we have the Invisible Woman, Sue Richards. So, um, I think her, she looks great. I think her eyes look great. The floor looks nice. And again, she has this kind of plastic as well. So I, I wanted to also save this plastic, you know, kind of make it look like she, you know, she's turning invisible. She has this kind of visible shield below her. So then I kind of made the ground, the ground kind of a, you know, a transparency, like the, the force field of her invisibility kind of thing is kind of um you know making that kind of a whitish look on the ground and then all the fantastic four characters i painted with a blue around so you could tell like they're they're a team so 
and I think she came out pretty good as well. I really like her eyes. Her eyes look really nice. And last but not least, we have Mr. St Old Stretcho, Mr. Fantastic himself, Reed Richards. So again, really nice thematic looking model. Um, and I, I really liked the colors of the Fantastic Ford um, that I used. And his eyes look pretty cool. And um, yeah, and again, the base, I used the same blue. And the, uh, this was a blue, the blue I used was, was uh, in the Citadel line. I think it was, I think it's called Lauren Blue, if I remember correctly. I'd have to check again, but I think he looks pretty good. So yeah, so that is the um, Fantastic Four set for Marvel United. Um, uh, again, I haven't used I haven't used any of these guys just yet. Uh, you know, I really I always like to like paint them first before I play with them. It's kind of like I'm like I'm locking characters in a video game kind of thing. Like they're unlocked once they're painted for me at least. You know, like I know obviously you could play the game without you know. You can play the game without them being painted, but for me, I like to have uh, painted figures uh, playing games, miniature games. Um, so yeah, so that is my uh, Fantastic Four box. I will try and maybe do, you know, paint up some of the other boxes and and show them off when I finish. And um, if you want to maybe see a playthrough, or if you have any comments or questions about the the box or the game, just you know, just let me know. I'll try to answer them. And uh, you know this game is it's great fun it's a nice uh it's a nice good family friendly game and it only takes like you know maybe half an hour to set up time is maybe like you know a good five seven minutes you know like to set up the game really and it's not really a long game so that's sometimes sometimes it's a good thing it's a nice easy fast game you know but it's still very thematic you know because you're still rescuing people and beating up thugs and other villains and you know trying to beat the main threat villain so very very fun game uh, very very easy to play as well so uh thanks again guys i just wanted to you know do a different review here and have you guys um check this out and if you have any questions or comments again uh don't be afraid to ask me anything i will try and get back to you but uh, thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video all right, everyone, take care.